This is a video showing how to level a force platform using PASCO Capstone. I've previously created a workbook that displays each of the load cells within the force platform and the order that they are displayed on the top plate of the force platform. I've also included a display of the normal force in the middle of the display. To make sure that I'm not generating too large a file, I have, instead of selecting continuous mode, for which Capstone will default to, I've instead selected fast monitor mode. This will provide me with updated data from each of the load cells, but will not record the data on the force platform. So what I'm going to do now is press the monitor button. So right now the force platform is sitting on the surface um, that um, I will be testing on. To help with the leveling process, I'm actually going to um, lift up the force platform um, from underneath and have it be approximately level. And then I'm going to press the tear button when it is suspended in the air. The reason I'm doing that is to unload each of the load cells within the force platform. Next, I'm going to place the force platform back on its feet. And you can see that um, the, the force platform is, is now supporting its own weight. So the weight of the force platform is about 63 newtons. So if we look at the displays here, we can see that the forces are being supported by force beam 1 and force beam 3. That means that my force platform is not really supporting much weight on uh, force beam 4 or force beam 2. So I can correct that by um, advancing the foot on the load cells that are not supporting uh, weight or supporting less weight than the other load cells. So I'll start by working on uh, force beam 4. I'm going to very gently lift up that corner of my force platform and then uh, advance the uh, foot clockwise by about 5 degrees, and I'll place it back down again, and I'll repeat this process until I can start to see a load on that load cell and have it more closely match that of the other load cells. So you can see that um, the two opposing beams, both be, uh, force beam 4 and 2, have about 11 newtons, while the other force beams uh, are uh, decreasing. So I'll go ahead and repeat this process again, advance it about 5 degrees. And if we wait for things to stabilize, we're now within one newton of each of the load cells, and our force platform is now leveled.